Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to work with one of our mock-ups and how to use it. So let's say this is your mock-up and this is probably the first thing that you're going to find when you start working. So you're going to go ahead to your layer panels and you're first going to delete the layer that it says delete here and you're going to do that with your keyboard delete. Um, and then you're going to find your image. So from here, you're, where it says add design here, double click on that layer that says that, this is where we're going to be placing our image for our mock-up. So we are going to double click on this square. We're not going to double click on this one and we're not going to click out, on, outside on the layer. Like that's going to bring us to different pa uh, properties of Photoshop that we do not want. So let's say, let's say you double click here this is going to take you into your mask properties if we double click here this is going to take us into our layer style properties we want to click inside this square so when we click inside this square we're going to see that a new tab opens up and this is the tab where we're going to place our image so this is the smart object la layer tab basically so here's our image and this is our smart object from here, you're gonna find something like this and you're gonna go ahead and delete the layer that says delete. And then you can go ahead and place your, your image. So let's say this is our artwork. And from here, you're gonna go ahead and press save. You can do that by pressing command S or going up here to file save i always recommend to learn the sh the keyboard shortcuts because that's just going to save you lots of time so go ahead press save and now this is going to be reflected over here so a few things that you can do um <clears throat> a few things that you can do let's say if this is a four by eight size or uh, tag size so let's say your image is a little bit smaller than that if you go ahead and press save, what's gonna happen is that this is gonna show a white rectangle. So you can, this on this layer that says color fill, what you're gonna do is you're gonna double click on this square over here, and then you're gonna press I for the eyedropper, or you can select it here, and then you're gonna select the same color as your background of the image. This is gonna make the background be the exact same color as your image and pretty much extend it so it fits on the design. Let's, for, for it to be more visually, I'm gonna, let's say you select this one and then you press save. Like this is what's gonna show up. So when we select the same color as our background, so this one, we press save, remember to press save so it reflects on the image then it's gonna basically extend the image to be placed on the exact dimensions of it. And then from here, you guys can just go ahead and file, save, or save as, if you wanna save it as a PNG. You can also just do a quick export as a PNG or export as for different other options, um, you know. So that's it, I hope this helps, bye.